feeling your self-worth and activating your dark feminine energy. Okay, what does this mean? What is dark feminine energy? Okay, so as you know, we have we live in a in a world where we learn things through opposites. We learn things through binary opposites, polar opposites, okay? And so we have the light feminine and the light feminine is all about nature and nurture and birth and creation and um you know the the classical attributes of the feminine the soft the gentle the nurturing right the beauty but then we also have the dark feminine energy and this is about the the boundaries this is about not taking any shit this is about the mother that protects her cubs the fierce lioness mother that protects her baby lion cubs and won't let anyone get in the way between her and her babies this is this fierce energy that Kali energy that I don't take no shit energy you know this is um the darker aspects of what it means to be a woman being in connection to our sexuality anything to do with the taboo you know and so really when we reconnect back to our womb and to our pussy we st- our pussy we start to heal our self-worth and healing our self-worth is a journey that every single woman needs to go on because in my experience pretty much every single wounding or insecurity or problem that I've faced within my internal world it all comes down to self-worth it all comes down to how much we value ourselves and so often as women we are looking to the outside world to be valued we are looking to men to teachers to you know people in hierarchy to give us that stamp of approval to tell us we matter to tell us we're pretty to tell us we're sexy to tell us we look good okay but actually the deepest sense of validation comes from deep within and so when we activate our dark feminine energy this is about remembering our power this is about remembering like I'm a fucking bad bitch and no one is gonna mess with me no one is gonna step over my boundaries no one is going to disrespect me because i I will never, ever let that happen to myself because I've got myself. I love myself. I value myself. I validate myself. You know, I choose myself first. And that's the foundation that I come from. Because if that's not your foundation, then your foundation is going to be built on what other people think of you. And then you're constantly going to be in this really unhealthy dynamic of seeking and seeking and seeking outside of yourself and constantly looking, looking, looking. But you're never going to fully get what you need because it's 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 fake, right? We rarely need to, how I see it is like we 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 move from this, this vertical, sorry, from this horizontal axis of like seeking outside of us, around us, and we move into a more vertical line, a vertical energy where it's us in connection to the higher power. It's us in connection to Mother Earth below, Father Sky above. It's us in connection to God and Goddess. And what and that if that relationship is good, if our relationship with ourself is good and our relationship with God is good, that's all that really fucking matters, right? Nothing else matters. No one else's opinions matter. No one else's bullshit or comments or judgments or whatever because you know that it has nothing to do with you it's just a reflection of someone else's bullshit and their insecurities and their unprocessed unhealed trauma right so this is where this this bad bitch unfuckwithable confidence comes from is from the dark feminine and we need to call her in call on her to activate her 
And this is when we get to um, really, really, really like step into our sexual power, into our sexual expression, take up space, moan and express and be loud and take up space and, you know, move our body in sexual weird ways because it feels fucking good. And I'm on a dance floor and I don't care what anyone else thinks or looks at me because I'm doing it for my own joy and my own pleasure and my own satisfaction.